All right, this is going to be a little bit tedious, so I'm just going to warn you, it's going to take a little while to work through this. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this website, and it is the Brazos Transit District website, and we have maps and schedules, and we want Bryan College Station, and we have all of these routes, and it tells you where it is. So if it says that minutes after the hour, so if you need to go at 2 o'clock, 2.12 is when it'll hit Villa Maria and William Joel Bryan. So these are going to be important to figure out exactly how we're going to make this work. So we've got a green route, a maroon route, an orange route, and so on. And we're going to have to figure out, so Bryan College Station map. Here we go. Now, your work location, so I'm just scrolling down here with my scroll button, is on Welburn Road. I can hold down control, and that lets me um, expand it. So I'm going to go up here. So your, if we go to Google Maps, And we put in your address. I lost my mouse. You know I do that all the time. So on our map, that's right here. Now, our work location is 3001 Town Center Way in Bryan. I'm going to copy that, Control-C, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to hit the Directions button, and I'm going to do Control-V, and I'm going to choose that. And it says that if we were bicycling, that it would take 27 minutes. I can choose Walking. If we don't have a bicycle, that's one hour and 27 minutes at the best. So we are probably going to need to take the bus unless you've got an hour and 27 minutes to walk. Now, if you have a bicycle, you can expect that it'll take you about 27 minutes to get there. If you have a bicycle, you're also going to have to have a helmet. And you're going to need lights on your bicycle just in case. You happen to have to ride in the dark. So there's a lot of things to consider while we're figuring this out. Now, I want you to figure out your bus route. And here's Town Center. It's right down there where um, Walmart is right here and Bryan High is right here. And so this is the Target Center here. So if we go back to our map, we can see that this, I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and see where this maroon route takes us. And this maroon route will not take us right over to that center. We need to switch off on to the red route. Either that or we're going to need to walk that few blocks. So 
this is going to be important. You're going to get on. And one of the things to know is what direction are the arrows going. So the arrows are going this way, meaning that you are going to go a long way out of your way before you go back in the direction that you want. So when you get picked up, you've got to go over here. Now we can go back to this and... Um, University at Highway 6 on 14. So we got on at 33. So at 133 we got on, but we got to keep going in this direction. And we're going to come back around. So if we got on at 133, we're going to get there about 214. And that's about three quarters of an hour that you're going to ride the bus. And you're going to have to think about that. And then you're going to have to walk either and that's that's not terribly far but it, it's probably a mile or more or you're going to have to get on the red bus now the question is when does the red bus go to texas avenue i mean to highway six and boonville road so we know that um, university and highway six that's not where we wanted actually we wanted boonville and highway six And it takes a little while to find these things sometimes. Because guess what? I was looking at the purple route which came over here. So we've got to look for where this maroon route crosses with the red route. And we've got to get on that red route. So when does that red route get to Villa Maria and Welburn? So let's look at when the maroon route gets there and when the red route gets there. So I'm going to go back over here to transportation and I'm going to say maroon route. Everybody's going to start with maroon route and then red route. And we're going to want to write down what time they get. So we know that right on Welburn is at 33. So I'm going to go back over here to my transportation and I'm going to put Welburn at 33. And then we need to know when it hits Villa Maria and Welburn. So the left on Villa Maria is at 38. So we can go back over here and we can go left on At 38. This would be much better if it was in a table. So we're going to do that. Ah, look at that. I'm going to do Control Z, and I'm going to put the table right here. Then I'm going to move my stuff. Wellburn. At 33. And Villa Maria. At 38. Now what's going to be really important is that when does the red route cross? Villa Maria. So we are going to look over here. We know that the red route does cross. We're going to go back over here and we're going to look at the red route. Red route. Wildflower Briarcrest, Palisoda. Let's see, right on Villa Maria. Right on Westwood, right on Villa Maria, Villa Maria and Forestwood, and right on Texas Avenue. So, look, let's look back over here. And they're saying so Jaguar. Shirewood, there's Villa Maria, 
and we know that red route goes all the way out here, we'd like to know when it gets to this intersection here where we can pick it up. It's going to go right on Fin Feather right after that. Let's see, left on Fin Feather. Villa Maria at Texas Avenue at 22. Okay, so Villa Maria at Texas Avenue. So that's Texas Avenue right there at 22. And then right up here, what's the next one after Villa Maria at Texas Avenue? The next one is right on Willis Van Hook at 24. So right between 22 and 24. So let's put 22 because we want to be out there in plenty of time to get our bus. I'm going to copy this or just insert. Okay. Ah, oh, that does not work well. Look at that. You're going to have to sit there from 38 to 22. So that's after that goes. And if you choose to take the bus up there, so you might be a whole lot better off to actually just walk up there and get on at 22. Now, one of the great things is that we can find out how long it takes us to walk. But the truth is that you would want to go and ride the bus before you were going to have to ride to work to figure out exactly what time you'd have to leave in order to make it. But you need to know about how long it's going to take you to get to work. And with what we are working with at the moment, it's looking like you're going to be there almost an hour waiting for the red route to come around. So you could walk just as well because we already looked up walking distance. So I'm going to want you to put on your transportation walking distance. So we've got that. So we're going to go up here and put walking distance. Now when you get this sheet, it's going to have these on here as examples. And you're going to replace this with the actual address where you're going. And then you're going to go over here and we already have the Welburn Road and the Town Center. So I'm going to want you to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to want you to paste it into that document. And remember that we do that by typing SNP and grabbing the snipping tool, which popped up on my other screen, which is OK. And I'm going to snip this much of it. And I'm going to put that into my transportation document right here, control V. And it's got the bicycle. You could go ahead and put walking on there. And one hour and 27 minutes. But honestly, look, you're going to have to wait almost an hour right here for the red bus to cross that line. So that's going to be really interesting for you. And we can take another snip, pull up my snipping tool, new, and I'm going to take a snip right here of my walking information. And I'm going to go to my transportation. And right after that, I'm going to put control V. And now I've got my walking information. I can make that a little bit smaller as long as you can read it. And this could be a little bit smaller or we could even crop it. But So as you can see, adulting, it has a lot of interesting. So that is 4.3 miles. So walking distance, walking time. You're going to put that. Now, all the things that we have to think about is weather. If I'm going to walk to work, then I have to really think about the weather because it gets really cold, it gets really hot. You can't get to work covered in sweat 
and expect that they're going to want you to go to work. So we've got a whole lot of issues that we're going to have to deal with. Now, I also want you to go ahead and use the Uber cost estimator and put in your, so we got a, we got a pickup location and a destination. And our pickup location is our home. And our home is 401 Welburn Road and College Station. And so I put that there. And now our destination, there we go, Town Center in Bryan, Control V. And it says that Uber is going to cost $11.59. So how much would that cost you in a month? More money than you have. But if the weather was really bad, and you have a job, you just might have to take an Uber. So you will want to take a snip of this and include it. Now I wonder if Lyft is any cheaper than Uber. So we've got our, our Uber estimate, control V. Now let's let's check out Lyft. And that should still up. Oh, no, it's not. What is in there now is my picture, which won't work. Lyft. just doing control C control V calculate so lift there we go 1131 take a snippet again snipping tool new and go back to transportation and put it underneath lift. I'm going to want to know your bicycle time. And then believe me, you're going to want to think about exactly how long it would take you to save enough time, enough money to buy a moped or a bicycle. So, you're going to have fun with this one. Let's see how that all works out.